You're watching Unrelent Gaming. This is Beerus, the god of destruction. Make sure you subscribe to Unrelent Gaming and push the like button for me, or else I'll have Kai you from existence. Oh, and do make sure to watch the entire video all the way through. And to follow Unrelent Gaming on both Instagram and Twitter. Whis, enough. On to the video. Ever since the introduction of Universe 11's Mightiest Warrior Jiren, there have been many fans within the Dragon Ball fandom that have often wondered about Jiren's potential and how far Jiren could essentially go if he were to be trained or at least in this case be trained properly, as despite Jiren's overwhelming strength and being one of the strongest mortals within the multiverse, Jiren's feats still pale in comparison by that of the angels, however, what if in fact there was indeed some kind of a proposition made in getting the strongest angel among them all, the father, known as the Grand Priest in being able to take Jiren under his wing, in testing Jiren out to see if Jiren fits the qualifications in becoming the Grand Priest student, as this is the story of Jiren's training with the Grand Priest, a story in which Jiren had made some kind of a bargain with the Grand Priest in order to receive further training unlike anybody else in having to further dive into his true potential by not only having to unlock the inner strength within Jiren himself, but also having to manifest this onto the surface. Now before we dive any further into this this video if you are new to the channel and of course have a love and passion for all things Dragon Ball related including its manga anime video games fan animations fan mangas and more in which would also like to be kept up to date with everything in regards to the Dragon Ball Super manga the Dragon Ball Super anime Dragon Ball video games and any and all additional content within the Dragon Ball universe then I do encourage you guys to head on over and smash that subscribe button and turn on all notifications by clicking on the bell icon to always be notified whenever a brand new video is posted onto the channel as well as giving this video video a big thumbs up by slapping that like button down below if you guys are simply excited to see what the future holds for the Dragon Ball franchise and with all that being said I want to thank you all so much for your time thank you all so much for supporting the channel and now let's dive straight into the video <laughs> As our story opens up with the God of Destruction Belmon and his angel attendee Margarita having to oversee a battle happening in the distance, the battle in which they are watching seems to be very intense as Margarita went on to tell Belmon, I will say, for a mortal to be granted special permission to be trained by the Grand Priest, I am very impressed that Jiren is able to survive. As Belmon went on to respond, it is rather a very rare sight indeed. Tell me something. Why would Jiren even agree to something like this if he knows he's no match for the Grand Priest? What is Jiren aiming to accomplish by training with him like this? And as we observe closely in the distance how carnage is now ensuing, Margarita went on to respond well, for one, I'm sure Jiren's quest is to aim to become even stronger than he was before. In fact, stronger than he ever could have imagined in becoming. So learning from the Grand Priest would be ideal if he hopes to never fail in battle again. I also saw the look in my father's eyes during the Tournament of Power. He had taken a liking to both Goku and Jiren, of course more than likely seeing their great potential as well. And with Margarita having a flashback of her training with Jiren, she then continues, Training Jiren was truly an honor, but I knew in order for him to become even stronger, he would have to train with the Grand Priest. Even if it's for a moment, that moment could work wonders for him. The Grand Priest doesn't often accept these kinds of pleas, but I'm sure he saw the potential that Jiren Jiren has. And with Belmont shown looking up smiling, he then went on to respond, then he will surely become the strongest mortal to ever exist if he keeps this up. And if Jiren prevails, then Universe 11 prevails as well. What matters more than anything is his will not to quit, which he's proving now. This will also mean that if the Omni Kings were to hold another tournament like he did before, then there would be no mortal whether it's Goku or any other warrior who would stand in Jiren's way. As Margarita responds, I'm sure Jiren knows of the risks, which is why he is taking this battle as seriously as he possibly could to get better. But even then during the conversation, Jiren's body is shown having to fly right past Margarita 
Margarita and Belmont as Belmont went on to continue, any other mortal would have died in this fight by now, for Jiren to still find the will and the power to push back against the Grand Priest is certainly more impressive than anything else. And as we then go back to Jiren who was shown trying to stabilize himself in breaking the ground with his hand, he then went on to say to himself, damn him, how is he not even scratched by any of my attacks? Look at him. He's taking me for a fool here. I will not stand for it. I'm getting nowhere like this. As Jiren went on to ask, how are you not tired from any of this? How could you possibly be this relaxed? You may be the strongest, but don't think for one second that I'm going to give up. I need this. I didn't come here expecting for our battle to be a cakewalk but I'm not backing down from you either, you hear me? And with the Grand Priest having to look down and smiling, he then went on to tell Jiren, your skills are sharp, but you lack the focus to balance your mind in this fight. You are overwhelming yourself with emotions that are standing in the way of victory. If you wish to unlock your true potential and the sleeping power that lies dormant within you, then you must be without emotion and fight with the intention to slay. Merging your mind along with your body is the key to opening the doors to newer levels of power. You possess the will, but you do not possess the mindset to obtain such things. Our training is not over. We will resume this battle now, but if you wish to stop now, then you may have the chance to walk away. And Jiren is pissed, because rather than walking away, Jiren instead ends up charging directly at the Grand Priest by telling him, Like hell I'll walk away! And as Jiren goes on the attack, the Grand Priest is then shown dodging each and every single one of his strikes, as the Grand Priest went on to tell him, Good! Very good! But you must focus! This anger you carry in not being able to touch me is slowing your progress down. You must move instinctively, the Grand Priest says. As he went on to once more dodge one of Jiren's strikes, he then continues, Allow me to show you. Pay attention and be quick to respond. Which surprisingly is exactly what Jiren ended up doing because as soon as the Grand Priest went on to throw a punch, Jiren just as the Grand Priest had said had reacted instinctively in having to stop the Grand Priest's punch by asking, is this what you wanted me to do? His body actually reacted and moved instinctively on its own, the Grand Priest says. As it was right then and there during that moment to the shock of everyone, that's when Jiren proceeded in finally being able to land and a solid punch on the Grand Priest's face, which went on to shock everyone, including the gods, as Belmont went on to comment, Margarita, did you just, I did, she says. I can't believe what my eyes just saw. As indeed, their eyes had not deceived them because Jiren had actually managed to land a single solid shot on the Grand Priest's face, but even then, the Grand Priest wasn't phased by this at all, as even the Grand Priest went on to tell Jiren, Well, mortal, in all my existence, I have never encountered any warrior such as yourself who was actually able to touch me. Though I barely felt anything, I am shocked to see how well your body was able to respond to my attacks. And as Jiren quickly went on to back away, he then went on to ask, what do you mean barely felt anything? How could that even be? I struck you head on with full force. How is it that you're still smiling and not in pain? I don't understand. What is the depth of your power? As the Grand Priest responds, engage with me and you will see. So clearly enough, the Grand Priest is not phased by any of this, and this is fairly evident because Jiren is bloody, Jiren is torn up, and he seems like he's been through a meat grinder, whereas the Grand Priest, outside of just getting punched in the face, has literally no scratch on his body. Which from there, as the two then continue to engage, that's when Belmont went on to tell Margarita, I can't believe what I just saw, Margarita. Even though the Grand Priest wasn't truly hurt by Jiren's attack, the fact that he was actually able to get one in on him speaks for itself. As Margarita responds, I have no doubt that the Grand Priest is testing to see where his mind is, along with seeing how far he could push Jiren's body, and the fact that Jiren isn't willing to give up is what I believe the Grand Priest is most interested in. Which again, by no means is this an easy battle, but the Grand Priest seems to be taking it very easy on Jiren, as the Grand Priest then went on to tell him, good warrior, but I need you to remain focused and respond instinctively with each attack that makes its way towards you. Damn it, Jiren says. Release the tension that restricts you and focus on my movements, in which in a stunning act, that's when the Grand Priest proceeded to nearly strike Jiren with a punch that came inches away from his body, in which even Jiren then was very fearful that the Grand Priest was going to make contact, but instead, he juked him. He completely faked it as Jiren proceeded to throw a punch of his own, with the Grand Priest having to move away by telling him, ah, almost. 
Good! Just like that, warrior. And just like how the Grand Priest had told Jiren earlier in fighting with the intention to slay, that was exactly what Jiren was planning on doing, because as soon as Jiren went on to hold his hand up in the air, he then proceeded in creating a massive energy ball up in the sky, and through this he was incredibly angry as Jiren went on to tell the Grand Priest, I'm tired of this! You want me to fight on instinct, do you? Well then far be it for me to hold back. If fighting to kill is what you wish to draw out of me, then I will give it to you. I am putting everything I have into this next attack. I'll show you the fire that burns within me. I won't give up, no matter how powerful you are. My mind is set on one thing and one thing only. Oh my, the Grand Priest says. What a gigantic attack, as Jiren went on to shout, VICTORY! And indeed, that was exactly what Jiren was looking for during the course of this sparring session, but even then, as this gigantic attack went on to make its way towards the Grand Priest, the Grand Priest did not flinch, but instead, the Grand Priest had went on to stick his arm out in literally disintegrating Jiren's blast right before his eyes, as Jiren went on to respond, There's... there's just no way! That's impossible! He... he cancelled my attack out just by simply touching it! Uh, how? How did he just do that? I... I can't believe it! His power... His power goes beyond anything I could have imagined! But... How? And as a massive explosion then commenced, that's when Jiren went on to continue, My attack was nothing to him! The power of the Grand Angel! What fascinating power! How did he do it? Which mind you, once again, this explosion is massive, as even Belmont went on to respond, He crushed it with ease! I never would have known the Grand Priest is this powerful. He makes it seem as easy as it is breathing as Margarita responds, and what's more is I know my father isn't even taking this seriously either, but he certainly is being pushed out there by Jiren to try. And as the smoke then begins to dissipate and settling on down with the Grand Priest having to oversee Jiren from above, that's when the Grand Priest went on to say to himself, I see. So my suspicion was indeed correct. He is able to be molded after all. A war with this much potential shouldn't be wasted. Pride Trooper Jiren of the 11th Universe, you did well. You have proven to possess power that can be improved on and a body that can be molded. Congratulations! You have passed the first part of your test by enduring and surviving this battle without quitting. As later that day we venture on over to the Omni King's palace, as the Grand Priest then went on to comment, These mortals never fail to impress me with the amount of potential they possess. Although there is much for them to learn, I will assure you that Jiren will be excellent indeed. Your Lordship, what does this mean for Jiren now that you have accepted him as a student? Belmont asks. How long will he be kept under your close supervision? As the Grand Priest responds, I will be keeping Jiren with me here to train and study under me for a total of three days. Jiren's growth intrigues me, and therefore I would like to see how far he could go before we are through. If you are also curious to know, this will not mean that Jiren will in any way become an angel himself nor will he exceed my level of power, but when he is to return back to Universe 11, he will no doubt be a completely different fighter. It is rare for a mortal to submit and want to learn, but I have no doubt that Jiren's ambition is what drives him, and his ambition is to no doubt succeed in a rematch against a familiar foe. For a brief time, I would like to introduce you both to my new student, Jiren. And with Jiren shown having to finally stand next to the Grand Priest in wearing the Grand Priest outfit, that's when the Grand Priest went on to continue, you are both welcome to watch as we train if you'd like. There is much for Jiren to learn and for him to overcome, but there is no doubt that he is more than ready to evolve himself into a supremely gifted and once-in-a-lifetime warrior of unimaginable power and determination, which ultimately sets the precedent going forward, and with Belmont then shown approaching Jiren, he then went on to tell him, Look at you, Jiren. You've earned this spot. Despite the loss you faced during the Tournament of Power, I want you to always remember that after this, you will never lose again. You will never fall, nor will you ever break. To earn the chance to train with such a person as the Grand Priest says enough about what you're willing to do to change and evolve. However, you are not going to be the only one to break through their shell. There is much for your Pride Trooper friends to learn as well, such as Topo and Dispo. We will train them next. And just like you, they will also be great. Without them and without you, Universe 11 is but a void. 
I am proud of you, Jiren. Thank you for standing by our side. Now remember what we taught you and use what myself and Margarita had given you and use it to evolve. As Jiren went on to smile by responding, Thank you for believing in me, Lord Belmod. I will do my best. And as Belmont and Margarita then take their leave, Belmont then went on to wave by telling Jiren, Try not to get too strong though. Me and Margarita have some work to do with Topo. Then Dispo. We'll see you in three days once your training is finished. Oh, and for the sake of whatever lies in the future for us all, please do us both a favor and try not to die during the process, will you? See you soon, and with Belmont and Margarita then taking their leave, it was only then during that moment where the Grand Priest went on to spawn an angelic staff in Jiren's arm by telling him, I will grant you the ability to have and use the staff of the angels while here. I want you to use it as a way to sharpen your skills, but the staff can also be used for other purposes. Now then, Jiren, I want you to show me what you seek to do after your training. And that was exactly what Jiren had done because Jiren had then went on to use his angelic staff by creating an image of Goku by then telling the Grand Priest, him. I haven't forgotten about him. Universe 7's ultimate warrior, Son Goku. I haven't forgotten about what you said to me. And soon it will come to pass. I have no doubt that our battle will be won for the ages, warrior. And I can promise you that this time, you will not be so lucky. Ultra Instinct or not. You owe me a fight, Son Goku, and I intend for you to keep your promise once I see you again. Mark my words. As only then, the Beyond Dragon Ball Super story of the Grand Priest student manga chapter one-off special then comes to a close. Now, when putting this story together, what I really enjoyed more so than anything else was seeing how the Grand Priest was trying to educate and teach Jiren along the way, despite the overwhelming difference in power in Jiren having to see firsthand how powerful the Grand Priest truly was, it was courtesy of Jiren's resiliency in not wanting to quit and not wanting to go down that really piqued the Grand Priest interest in not only having to take a liking to Jiren and seeing his overall potential through this battle itself, but also it was the fact that the Grand Priest had seen that Jiren is moldable, he is coachable, he is able to mold him into becoming everything that Jiren strives to become and then some. So in the comment section below, what I want to know from you guys are three specific things. That being number one, what kind of rational reason would you guys come up with in the Grand Priest having to accept a mortal student for them to be trained under his wing? Question number two is let's just say even if it were to be for a few days, if Jiren were to train with the Grand Priest, then how strong would Jiren become by comparison to how he was prior? And lastly, let's just say in theory, if Goku did have enough prep time by training with Whis or any other sort of entity, whereas Jiren were to train with the Grand Priest, then if these two were to have some sort of a rematch, who do you guys believe would win and why? Once more, I want to thank you all so much for being here. Thank you all so much for watching. If of course you guys are new to the channel and of course would like to check out more awesome fan mangas similar to this, then I do encourage you guys to go on ahead and smash that subscribe button as well as also clicking on the bell icon to never miss a single video posted onto the channel. On top of giving this video a big fat thumbs up by slapping that like button down below if you guys enjoyed the story and if you think we should continue the story down the line because this is a one-off story, it's a one and done, I don't plan on continuing this in the future, but if we do garner enough support and if we do garner enough people wanting to see a continuation from this, then I will strongly consider doing so in the near future. So again, I want to thank you all so much for being here, I appreciate your time, tune back in for more and I'll be seeing each and every single one of you down in the comment section below and in the next video. Take it easy guys and have a great day. Peace. This is the Galactic Emperor of the Universe, and of course I'm here to tell you to subscribe to Unrelent Gaming. Also follow Unrelent Gaming on these social media platforms to stay connected at all times. And if you don't, then very soon you will all be dead! <laughs> oh, did someone say Unrelent Gaming? Oh my god. The fuck's up, I'm put on some clothes! Well, why don't you put on any clothes? What? I don't need clothes! Jesus Christ, that's huge! <laughs> what, Broly? Freezer. Uh -oh. Prepare to die! <laughs> <laughs> Boo, I'm a real gaming! But once you get video, I'll light some flights! Or Boo will turn you into juggling! Vados, get over here! Tell these mortals that I'm the biggest Unreal Ed gaming fan! This is my moment! I'm a part of his notification squad! Universe 7 can have all the fun! I just want the food! And don't forget to leave a comment on this video! Show some love for the best community on YouTube! <laughs> K -k -k -k